This woman was pureed in a blender by her husband. Yes, you heard that correctly. This is 38-year-old Kristina Joskimovic, a former Miss Sweden who was married to this man. His name is Thomas, he is 41 years old, and he also had two little girls with Kristina. And the two of them portrayed to have this beautiful and healthy and happy relationship on Instagram, but behind closed doors was very different. Now, I know that that kind of goes without saying for most people, but Thomas took it to the absolute extreme. He was exceptionally abusive. He had a huge history of strangling his wife, and one of his favorite pastimes was to take his wife's head and smash it against the wall during fights. He was, by all accounts, insane. This all came to a head in February of 2004 when Thomas killed her. Thomas killed his own wife and then dismembered her body with, get this, a jigsaw, knife, and a pair of garden shears. Eventually pureeing her remains to dispose of the rest of her body. I mean, dude, that is messed up beyond belief. That's like what would happen in Breaking Bad. And this dude does it to his wife, who he was married to for years, who mothered two of his children. This is obviously huge news at the moment, and a lot of people are obviously coming to her defense and saying that Thomas is just a lunatic. The police have released some statements saying that he is, by all accounts, absolutely mentally ill and absolutely mentally insane. Do you know what the most interesting portion of all of this was? Was that when he was arrested, he first told police that he had just found her body. He had found her body in the top bedroom that they have in terms of their house, and he had no idea what happened, and it's just totally surprised him and shocked him. Police then narrows it down, and they go to him, they go, Are you sure? Because you look to me to be the most logical culprit here, sir. Do you know what he says? He goes, okay, it was me, but it was self-defense. That's why I dismembered my wife using jigsaws and garden shears, is with the self-defense. Sometimes it amazes me just how evil and disgusting humanity can be. I hope her kids are going to be okay and I hope that Christina rests in peace.